I'm now the Art in Graffiti LA in Cambridge and uh, she's going to create a graffiti inspired by the uh, artificial intelligence algorithm and we will see how it goes. And then I contacted with uh, Artist Imagine and sent a few of the graffiti designs the AI dreamed up. And uh, she got inspired from one of them and she created this beautiful uh, graffiti that uh, you will see in the uh, pictures. And it looks so awesome. Thank you so much for this Thank collaboration. Thank you for having me. I think it's such an amazing opportunity to be inspired by art, like designs created by artificial intelligence. And it was that the designs came from over 50,000? Uh, 10,000. Over 10,000 yeah. designs or graffiti pieces taken from all over the world. Yeah. And so this is really an international collaboration. Yeah, so it's a collaboration between thousands of graffiti artists mm -hmm. all over the world. The AI and you. And so, you. So I just had <laughs> their paint, like some of you the You only <laughs> created the AI. Um, <laughs> and we have a really powerful message that we wanted to share with everybody and we'll post it we'll post the completed piece yeah. at the end and I think it's so relevant um, at this point um, Pinar is from Turkey and I am from Nepal and we're coming together to create this um, powerful piece when you reached out to me I was just like yes there's no I didn't have to think twice about it because I think it's such a cool way to bring art and technology together and you know, the machine learned it from like 10,000 graffiti pieces yeah. and then created a bunch of designs. And then I'm looking at one of those 10,000 designs and then creating a piece here. Mind blowing. <laughs> My graffiti name is Sobek. Um, my government is Jeremy. Um, yeah, I've been painting since 97. Yeah, 1997. Um, Boston born and raised. Yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I love doing this. Um, I got a nine to five, like I'm a cook. But in my spare time, or like my small business, is art. So, yeah, I love it. So with this design, um, I'm gonna make it say art with the, you know, with the little design, because I can kind of see uh, the letters or the word art with this design. So I'm gonna make it say art, and then I'm gonna sneak in the AI within the whole color scheme. bulky collage and I'm forming the letters out of it. The letters are real simple. 
but I don't know. I'm like a little boy in the toy store right now. There's, a, there's artists for like over like Europe per se, who this is like their graffiti style. Like it's just like a jumbo, and you gotta try to find out where the letters are, as opposed to like United States. We have like sharp letters, very direct, very bold, like they're there. There's, ours is less abstract. We do have a style called the wild style where like you hide your letters and a whole bunch of designs are in there. But this, this is, yeah, there are styles that are like, like this. So specifically with all these colors, yeah. That's what I'm waiting to get to. I'm waiting to start coloring this in. I'm just gonna be smiling the whole time. So many beautiful colors. I think it's interesting because um, I spoke with some of my buddies about this little project and they, they see it as me versus the AI, like man versus the computer and you know, they took it a little personal like, oh, you got to defend the history of graffiti and don't let computers take over and this and that. So it's, it's, been, it's opened up fun dialogue between me and my art buddies. Um, me personally, um, I think it's cool, but I think AI will never, obviously they'll never feel how I'm feeling while I'm painting this right now. Um, but I don't know, creativity wise, I don't think like artificial intelligence can be as creative as a person and like, you know, our brain just expressing ourselves with the art. You know?